Hi everybody, it's FIBO Group and you are watching to the Market Watch Review. Global stocks held on to their gains on Friday, but a heady mix of rising interest rates and high oil prices kept the rebound from happening as yields sent a warning message to the economy. Asia MSCI's Asia-Pacific Broadest Index was down 0.15%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng stabilized after a two-day furious surge. Japan's Nikkei rose 0.6%. The stocks index 600 of Europe's most prominent companies was unchanged at 450 points in Europe. This is 9% less than its peak from January. Futures on the S&P 500 fell 0.55% with very little data before Wall Street's opening bell. Spot Gold was at $1,935, down 0.5%. Bitcoin was hovering above $40,000, up 0.7%. After a lackluster progress in peace talks between Russia, Ukraine, oil prices remain above $100 per barrel. This raises the possibility of tighter sanctions and prolonged disruption to crude supply. Asian Pacific Market Markets are likely to overlook the impact of a spike in COVID infection on China's inflation and disruptions in supply chains in China. Michael Hewson is Chief Market Analyst at CMC Markets. Concerning the BOJ decision, the Bank of Japan did not offer any surprises Friday. They left policy extremely easy, which has maintained heavy pressure on yen. Japan's currency fell to a six-year low this week. It was last seen trading at $118.83. Terence Wu, a strategist from Ock Bank in Singapore, said that the next multi-session target could be the 120.00 psychological level. Market of Europe However, the Bolshevik Revolution has prevented a first Russian foreign bond default. Sources claim that some creditors received payment in dollars of Russian bond coupons this week. The Bank of England raised but was surprised by a dovish outlook which drove a rally for guilt. Rishi Sunak, the British finance minister, must decide next week whether to spend billions more to reduce inflation's rising cost of living for both households and businesses. The euro was at $1.106. It is 0.3% lower than the previous day. Market of America In a phone call set for 13.00 GMT, U.S. President Joe Biden will warn Beijing that it will be punished if Russia supports its war effort. On Wednesday, the Fed raised rates for only the third time in three years. This surprised traders by a more hawkish outlook than they expected. Morgan Stanley says that the U.S. dollar is still the most secure asset of many reserve asset owners. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.